Jakob Ingebrigtsen is on the verge of making history. This accomplishment will not only secure his standing as the best middle distance runner in the world at the moment, it will also solidify his place as one of the best middle distance runners in history. So keep watching as we're about to delve right into the action. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the youngest of the remarkable Ingebrigtsen brothers, has taken the athletics world by storm with his extraordinary performances this year. From his sensational runs at the Oslo and Silesia Diamond League meets to his record-breaking two-mile race in Paris, Jakob's achievements have been nothing short of awe-inspiring. Despite all these achievements, the pinnacle of Jakob's season is still yet to come, with the World Championships in Budapest taking place in just over a week's time. At these World Championships, Jakob finds himself in a special position to achieve something legendary. After his scorching 327.14 performance in the 1500 meters at the Diamond League event in Silesia, Jakob has the chance to chase down one of the more elusive world records in track and field, as he sets his sights on the historic 326 mark set by Hicham El Garouge back in 1998. Since this record was set, only two athletes have gotten within a second of it, with performances of 326.34 from Bernard Lagat and 326.69 by Asbel Kiprop. With Jakob Ingebrigtsen's insane accomplishments this season leaving him just over a tenth of a second behind the legendary 327 barrier, I believe he has a great chance of following in the footsteps of these great athletes and etching his name into the history books, especially if he can find himself in a more competitive field. While conquering the 327 barrier is a remarkable achievement in itself, the question on everyone's mind is whether Jakob can push even further and shatter the world record. In order to achieve this, Jakob would have to run 0.31 seconds per lap quicker than his performance in Silesia. And while this may seem like a small margin, I assure you this is a massive task when running at this extraordinary pace. Opinions on Jakob's chances of breaking the world record vary across the athletic community. Many believe the record is too formidable to be broken this year. While I do agree breaking the world record would be a massive leap for Jakob, it's worth noting that Hicham El Garouge's personal best before his record-breaking run was 328.91, over a second slower than Jakob's current best. And when considering the meticulous training implemented for elites, designed for a strategic peak in form for the world championships, the idea of Jakob breaking the record becomes much more feasible. There is rumors circulating that Jakob is aiming to complete a historic triple at Budapest, including the 1500 meters, the 5000 meters, and the 10,000 meters. This is obviously a mind-blowing achievement in itself, and if Jakob were to be able to break the 1500 meter world record on top of this, this world championship season would inevitably have to go down as one of the best we have ever seen. However, I do think Jakob's chances at completing this will be limited as he would have to run three times within 24 hours during the first two days of the championships while trying to conserve as much energy as possible over the 1,500-meter heats before taking place in the 10,000-meter final just under one hour after the 1,500-meter semifinal, where he would surely only have a chance at gold if the pace was slow and the race was tactical. I also doubt this would be the case, with the likes of Joshua Cheptegei and Behiru Aragawi likely to make the pace quick from the start. To add to this, Jakob would likely have to face off against these two again in the 5,000 meters, where it would once again be an incredible tough task to beat them, especially given their current form. While Jakob competing in all three events would certainly be a great watch for all, I would personally rather see him go all in over the 1,500 meter distance and truly see how fast he can run. Can he break the world record? It's a question that captivates fans and experts alike. Regardless of the outcome, Jakob's remarkable talent and incredible form promises an exhilarating show at the World Championships. But I want to know what you think. Can Jakob Ingebrigtsen break the 1500-meter world record in Budapest? Does he have a chance of coming out victorious in the 1500 meters, the 5000 meters, and the 10,000 meters? Let me know your predictions in the comments below.